I am Andrew. Welcome again. All right, sorry. Yeah, for now posting anything in a while, but I really, I'm really sorry. So today, I just want to show you how you can understand. I want you to understand, and uh, hopefully, by the end of this um video, you'll be able to know how to use Pixel Lab. Yeah. So I just want to teach you guys how you can use pixel lab using a mobile phone or pc if you want but the procedure is one and the same i'll try to be slow i don't want to rush because i want you to get each and every point and want you to understand each and every two how it works so i'll try to be slow and uh yeah right so so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open pixel lab so i'm opening pixel lab so i'm going to open pixel lab so i'm going to open pixel lab so here's my pixel lab as you can see i have pixel lab yeah here it is here is pixel lab and i'm going to open this application so what you have to do is if you don't have pixel lab in your phone you have to download this application it is available on google play store for example if you don't have pixel lab you can download pixel lab on google play store so right now i'm just going to go to my google folder google play store tap on it and i'm going to open google play store Or we search pixel lab <laughs> this is the application it is available in google play it is free of charge and it's about um um about um maybe 30 30 so more like uh 30 MB, it's about 30 MB. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I've ever made a mistake, it's about 30 MB. So, when you, uh, you download Pixel Lab on Google Play Store, what you have to do is open it. You have to open it. No. So, when you first open it, you're going to see this layer which shows a uh, new text, and uh, you find this, and uh, you won't find anything. And you will need to understand all these things, how these all things works. You have to understand, you need to understand how this one works, how this works, how this works, how this works, how this works, this, 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 this. And uh, you also need to understand how these uh, tools that are down here, how they work. Is this too? You need to understand this too. Right, I just have to move. I'm just going to move this one. Sorry, I'm just going to move this one. You will also need to understand how this works. This works. This works. This works, and uh, how this works. Every two, you will need to understand all, all these tools how they work. So first of all, I just want to to start. So right now, what I'll do is um, we'll start with uh, sorry. So I just want to use this one, and I want I would likes to reduce so for instance let me just pick the color so the color will be the size will be somewhere like this yeah and i'll pick this color okay right and i'll set this one to be here so guys for now we'll start with um, this one how this works so these two Basically, this tool is used to for importing, importing, importing. We use this tool for importing when you want to import. So what I'm talking about when you want to import, what do we import? We import photo. You can also imp import and you can also put the new text. What else? You saw you find also t stickers. You find a lot of things, but 
for now let's let's try to tap on it so what right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tap on this layer on this two sorry this two so and i will start by explaining each and every two each and every two so what is this two 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 and what what um is this two just going to switch off my data thank you so i'm going to explain each and every two so this um two right here we have these two so i'll start with these two these two uh is used for writing so for text this two is used for text thank you and um this two here is used for uh copy or rather duplicate what else these two here is used for rotate as you can see guys this two is used for rotate and uh, these two is used for cara what about this two this two is used for bag sorry it's going to erase this okay i said bag so i'll explain and uh this two right here is for you know guys when you want to change the photo to you want to change the photo so this one it is used for resize i guess this is resize and this too is used for for positioning when you want to position something uh, you want to center something so relative position called relative position and uh we'll talk about the last two which is uh which is this two we'll call it uh, front all right so these are the tools and guys i'm going to show you how each and every tool and i'm going to explain each and every tool how it works so you have to pay attention all right so let me try and be quick quick okay so guys these tools these tools you are seeing here so what this tool does so if we come to the first one when we come to the first one so this is the first one this tool what it does this first one what it does uh you can when you see you tap on this text you find that uh, it is moving so when you come here and uh, you tap on this one you see that you can edit this one you can edit when you tap on this thing you can edit and uh, you can edit this text so try, you can try and tap on it when you try and write something let's say you you write uh, word done you even click okay you can see that there is this thing you can edit it you're seeing we have edit it's it's the that text which was here now we've changed it to word and um the second tool which is copy we said copy so copy you can copy meaning you duplicate this thing or 
yeah another you can copy up to whatever you want about up to how many the, the 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 copies of your choice you can try and copy so i've copied all right so i'm just going to redo these things okay where are the text okay so as you can see there is even this one i said you resize so when you do like this you resize is the size okay uh we go to this one this one is good this is this one is for rotate you can rotate this okay negative uh 34 negative 90 100 up to 180 here positive 180 180 plus 180 making 360 so negative you can go up to 180 positive up to 180 so yeah all right i'm done so i'll come to here relative position so when you if you want you can push it here but if you want to center it um what's this if you want to center it uh vertically you want to center it vertically you have to place here as you can see where i'm placing i'm tapping you have to tap here and if you want to center it vertically so you have to tap here also and you click ok which means that this text is, is uh, at the center vertically it is centered and horizontally it is centered so yeah if you come to color you can change the color as you can see there's some so some color here on the canvas so you can see the color pod so if you want you can tap on it you see you when you tap on it if these colors don't don't move you you can choose another color how do you make another color you can come where there is this plus thing you tap on it and then you choose uh, on this palette you choose on this palette the color of your choice so you try and you move your arm you start moving your arm start moving if you think you want a light blue you can come over here or dark one you you darken or if you want a transparent one you come here so this is how it works guys the second one um uh, the color you can come to gradient where there is gradient you can tap on it and you find that there is this this gradient here you can come to any so you can tap on the first one i'll show you how it works you see you tap on the first one still if you find that this is not the type of gradient you want you can come on the on the plus here you tap on it and after you tap on it you can you will see that there are there are some gradients here there are some some tools here gradient tools here you you see that there are some gradient tools here so what this works if you want a gradient which is a you tap on the face gradient you see that you see the difference the second one you see the difference the third one the fourth the fifth and the sixth you see how the gradient works but for example when the it's like this this one's the far end yeah so i'll show you how when you tap on the face one you see this is how it works you see the second one the third fourth thief and the sixth now you see all the difference so when you tap on the first one and you tap on the face color here you have to tap here if you want to change the color here or you want to change the color here so i'll tap on this one and uh, when i tap on this one i should i'm supposed to when i tap there i'm supposed to tap on this one so i'll tap on this one so after i've tapped on this one i'll choose the color of my choice when i come here to the color palette so i'll choose the color of my choice so the color of my choice let's say i want green so i'll come here green okay i want uh, that green something which is darker okay and click okay uh, you can see and here i don't want white so i tap i'll tap on this white and come here right and i'll choose maybe i want uh something blue okay i want light blue so tap on it so you can see the gradient how it's working the first one the second one third fourth uh fifth sixth uh, you can see how the gradient works
So let's say I tap on the face point. You, you see what I was looking. I click OK. You can see uh, this is how the text is looking. This is how the text is looking. So imagine if I had to choose the face form. You see the difference. The fourth, the second one. You see the difference. Third one. You're able to see the difference. Okay, the fourth, the fifth. Oh, sorry. And the last one, but not the least. Look at this is a. Uh, how the gradient works this is how the gradient works so you can see guys this is how the gradient works so you can change the color your color text to the gradient one and you after you are done you are supposed to click ok alright guys so yeah I'll come to here where it says back so imagine guys we had um, for example I'll say we add um, about, um, for example, let me try and put something. Let me try and put something. Don't worry about what I'm going to put. I want you to get this. So don't be shocked or surprised what I'm going to do. Imagine we add this one here. I have this, this star here and you, you can see that my text is behind the star. So I don't know what to do right now. So imagine you are you're just a beginner and you don't know how to go about this and you think like you're stuck there is no way out and imagine what comes on your mind when you see something like this or when you see graph designers design something um the text uh it's uh it's on top of the photo or the subject you have seen some designs the text is on top of the of, on of the object subject not the subject on top of the text so you understand is it that always they start with the object and then the text at at the uh, when you are finishing up or is it that they you can design you can start with anything and you put them in order so what happens when you see this thing is um remember we talked about these layers we're talking about these layers and we're still on the text layer so sorry i'll show you how this works so i've tapped on the text area and you can see that my text is um between um my text is uh was behind my my star so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here and you can see that there are these two two options we have these two options left that i haven't explained yet explained yet so when you see these two options what you're going to do when you tap on the first one you see that the text that has come to to front and the the star is behind the text and you can see the text is in front when you tap on the second one you see that the text it has gone to the back and when you tap on the first one you see that the text is coming yeah it's it has come back again behind is going behind it's in front, back, at the back, in front. So that's how it works. This is how it works. These layers here. This is how they work. I hope you understand, guys, how these layers work. And I'm going to go to the last to 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 the where there is this more like it's a bin. This bin means when you see a bin, it means delete. So when you're done or you do, you think yeah you. You don't like the design so you're going to just come here delete confirmation delete the selected object what is the selected object the object which you let's say the object the selected object so when you have been selected an object you you find that uh, you can not delete anything so are you going to delete so you're going to tap on the object you want to delete so for instance i want to delete the the, the what's this the star so tap on the star and I'm going to come to delete confirmation. This is the selected object. Okay, so the star is gone again. I'll tap on the text. I want to delete the text. Delete. Okay, that's how it works. So I've explained how those how those function work. And the second one, 
do is this one. If you think you made a mistake and you want to reverse what you were doing, your work, you, you have to place pay and you tap on there, you find that you, you, you're done with which you, you deleted. So again, when you place again, you find that the start has come back again, again, again. You find that you start, what's this, bringing back what you deleted. So that's how it works. Again, if you think uh, you are long-sighted, short-sighted, you have eye problem, you want to zoom in your design, you kind of, uh, in short, you can tap on this plus and you start, you, you tap, you use your two fingers and you, you start zooming in. You can zoom this. You see, it is coming word. Uh, if you can zoom out with two fingers, you tap on it. You, you can see, guys, how I'm doing it. You zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Or you think you're done, you can tap again on it. You see, you tap on it, you can zoom in. Original Android 280, original is Android, so you can, yeah. The second one is uh, this one. These are guidelines. They help us to center things. So well, how does this work? So you can see that the vertical, when you start counting the vertical lines, they are one, two, three, four. And then the, I'm um, sorry, the horizontal, they are one, two, three, four. And start counting the vertical. One, two, three, four. So these guidelines, they are horizontal four, vertical four. So what happens if you want to center the text? So imagine you want to center it. So you can, uh, sorry, I'll show you how I did that. So what you have to do is you want to, you have to, you can place here. You can place here. You can place here and you in, you can add or increase the vertical horizontal lines. How? So let me show you. When you tap here, you find that after tapping here, you come here, you tap on this sign. Which sign? Maybe you did not see it. Let me show you. This is the sign that I tapped on. So I'll tap on it. And I'll put, uh, I need, I want my to be 13, my horizontal 13. So number of horizontal guides, I, suppose to, I want them to be 13. Number of vertical guides, I want them to be 13 as well. So I'll click OK. You can see they have increased and they are about uh, 13. After you, you tap on it, you're supposed to tap on it again. So it's back to normal so that when you tap on it, you won't make any mistake. Because if you leave it like this, when you tap on it, you start moving the horizontal line. So make sure when you do like that, you yeah, you, you tap on it again so that you don't make any, uh, any mistake. So right now, let me put them the way they're supposed to be. So 13, 13 done done so I'll tap again on it so how does this work you can see that if you want to you want to create something let's you want to put uh, the shape you find that this one will help okay i want this one to be e 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 and if you think that you are you're exceeding you're not putting them to if you want to, to the the text to be in line with the the guide and you see that you are still making mistakes. You're not a computer. You are you, you are you, you are human. So you, yeah, we make mistakes. So what you have to do is you have to place the U sign where there's the U mark here. You can tap on it, right? And then any time, every time you reach any line, it will indicate red. Or you see, which means you have reached here. Start going. It will help you show you that okay, you are here. You are here. You come here, come here, come here, we'll help you. Come here, come here, you come here. This thing will help you. After you're done, you click OK. And you can see that when you click here, you can see that you are OK. You tap on it. Doesn't mean that when you, you enable the, the guidelines, when you save the photo, even the guidelines will, will, is going to show up. No, they won't show up. These guides, they are here to help you to center the object or in short the subject. So don't worry about the guidelines. So you tap on it. You can see that this shape of mine is centered yeah, vertically and horizontally. So 
that's what we do for the guidelines yeah okay we go to this one to this layer how does this layer this help us to to, sh to know how many layers we have so right now we have we have uh, about two layers this shape and the text layer you can see let me try and change the color let me try to change the color to something which is black okay you can see that i have two layers this layer and this layer if you want i can tap on this layer or if you don't want to tap there is a lot of things on the canva what we do is you're supposed to come here and you tap on it and you go straight to the layer so imagine if we had a lot of layers layers a lot of layers and you want to tap on the text and you can't find the text what do we do you tap on it and you start scrolling until you find the text so here's the text you can bring the text here you can place where there is this to my dots and you start moving the text up here or if this text is below here you can come on this pencil and you bring it to front you know what we did on the first uh, on the first two yeah that's how we do it okay we pass here i'm going to delete and everything it's going to delete everything from here you can delete everything from here thank you you can come on the plus here on the plus you find that text current date sticker shapes from gallery draw you find this here so what happens when you come to text you put the text and uh, current date it will help you to put the date so today so today it's a uh, fourth of um, march 2023 delete and a sticker to probably help you to put the stickers these are the stickers that comes with pixel app yeah oh it will help you to next the shops you have to import the shops okay maybe you can you can resize this shape inside your vertically horizontally or if you don't want to this shape you tap on this you tap on this thing if you don't want this shape you tap on this thing you find the shapes tap on the circle shape yeah you can do this you can choose the color here here is the stroke if you say okay i want 24 stroke you change the color to white you can see we just this is how it works you delete and you come from gallery when you come from gallery it will take you back to your phone's gallery and you're going to find the photos so for instance you want to design something so you can put my logo so from gallery find this logo you can see we've imported the photo this is this plus okay delete okay you want to save your your design so you can save your design as photo save as photo so i'm going to save as project when you save as project you name the project as um word okay as tutorial let's say this is tutorial tutorial okay you click done tutorial when you click the tutorial click okay it is saved how do you know where do you find yourself when you come down here sorry when you come down here you find that they are saved you find the saved one so you tap on it and then you come on on the first one you find this one story so you click on it and it will come like this so you have seen the saved one you find it or save it as a photo so you find the save as an image so you come here image format you want a jpeg or png png or jpeg so if you say jpeg so you come here quality dimensions when you say default now if you want highest quality it is you have to scroll down to ultra it's the highest dimension and you save your your design save into gallery so when you 
come back to your phone's gallery so let's say i'm in my gallery so i want to see my design what we saved so i just come here i'm looking for my design you can see this is the photo that we saved and you can see the ratios it is about 1.42 mb 66 to 3264 by 2664 2264 pixels so three by three you can see it's a one by one pixel so yeah guys so the, that's how we do it when you come here you share same as save here you find some codes some words yeah some codes in here on this three button you find use image from gallery you can use image from gallery as your background so when you do this use image from gallery so here's your gallery and if you find you want to you can't find the photo that you're looking for you can tap on this three dots and you can come here you scroll gallery and it will or photos anywhere anywhere where you keep your photo for instance i want in the background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to my to this background i tapped on it and i click ok you can see the background has changed because i've used the image from gallery full screen As you can see this this is how it's looking when you click on full screen designed by free pick this is where where i downloaded this image so yeah or oh, use image from camera so imagine if i want to capture someone so if i capture something let's say i capture something so let me let me capture something okay all right so this is my uh, thing so i've captured this you try if i want to capture something let me capture my my palm all right so this is my palm click okay so this palm will be my background so this will be my background and click okay as you can see this is my so it will take the the, the ratio of my photo so you can see maybe it's about three by nine ratios so yeah or oh, I can come here export export meaning saving image size you have to you want to change the image size okay we did I want it to be 100 and the height I want it to be 100 as well which is one by one version you can see oh yeah. contact us you want to contact tutorials you watch the story they are tutorials we cover all to save open pf file about and exit meaning you want to exit pixel art. so this is how this works these two works this is how they work this two this is how they work so we're done with these tools now we're remaining with these tools which are here so thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe remember to hit the notification bell so that anytime i post something new you get notified God bless you. See you on the next video. I'm going to post another video how this works. If you are interested to know how this works, remember to watch another video. Yeah, there's a playlist.